Sweet people, I hope you guys are doing okay. It's me, your friend, once again, the needy woman. And I'm very glad to be coming to you once again. Today, we shall be making a trendy wrap skirt. And I'll be using one and a half yards of this fabric for the skirt. And then I'll be using this plain one for the rope at the back. I appreciate you guys for your views. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. For the time you put into my channel i don't take any of those for granted and if you are new please hit that red icon to subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so let's just hit the cutting table so this is what we're going to be using for today's tutorial and it is one and a half yards of cutting fabric and it's also by 60 so it's very very lengthy i'm going to proceed now to fold my fabric first into two And then into two again, making it into four. Okay, so this is into four fold. The folded part is two. The zip allowance area is also, I mean, the back panel of the skirt is two. Okay, so for my zip allowance, I'll be using two inches. The length of my skirt is. 44 I'll be adding two inch extra for fold. So I'll be measuring 46 Also for my body circumference, I'll be adding one one inch as same allowance or one and a half inches as same allowance Okay, my waist measurement is 36 divided into four will give us nine I'm going to be putting that, so I'm adding one inch extra for the dart and then one and a half inches allowance. This is where my hip measurement will come in. That is nine inches from the waistline. My hip measurement is 42 divided into four will give us ten and a half, which is here. I will also add one and a half inches extra for allowance. So I'm connecting the waist measurement to the hip measurement. I'm going to take this hip measurement all the way down. But seeing that it is at the edge of my folded fabric, there's no point drawing it again. It means this hip measurement has gone all the way down. Okay, so this here is the length of my skirt with folding allowance inclusive. I'm just going to go in by one and a half inches at this hemline and then I will connect it to my hip measurement. This is just the same way you cut your pencil skirt. The only difference is that this one is longer. So now this is what we have. You can see I connected it to my hip measurement. I will now just cut it. Because we're having cut it out, this is what we have so we'll now proceed to cut the wrap that will go with the skirt i'm going to remove the two back panels we are going to be working just with the front panel okay so in placing your wrap you have to consider which side you want it to fall or normally it's on the left side here some people prefer their wrap coming from this side of the waist to the other side of the waist and then to half of the butt area but for this particular tutorial i'll be starting from this side of the hip area from this point to half of my butt area okay okay so now what you just need to do basically is to spread out your wrap on the table on your cutting table then place your skirt block your front skirt block on it you see i placed it front of it not the wrong side i used the right side because i wouldn't want to be making mistakes at the end of the day so i'll just place so the idea is already to have the same shape at this hip area down to the hem line so having placed the front of my skirt against the wrap one i'm going to just trim out 
the little excesses. So at the end of the day, this is what we have. Okay, so now having cut the wrap at the hip line, remember it. The next thing you should do, because you wouldn't want this wrap part to cross over to the other side of your board, you will have to make sure that it is less than quarter of your waist and hip measurement. Remember, for this our front one, it is quarter of my waist, quarter of my hip. All right, so for this one now, we are going to remove one inch from the quarter of our waist and hip measurement so that it does not give you the exact measurement of your quarter of your waist and your hip. Okay, so this is one inch. This place is already shortened by itself. So I'll just measure out one inch all the way down to the hem line. What it means is that I removed one inch from the quarter of my hip measurement. Remember, this is the quarter of my hip measurement. And then I had to remove one inch because I wouldn't want this one to get to this point. The reason is so it can sit properly at the back side. So I'll proceed to remove one, one inch all the way down to the hem line. So with the one inch removed, you now see the wrap part is shorter, is slimmer than the normal quarter of my hip measurement. I hope it's very clear. This is the wrap part here. I hope you can see it. The other one is my normal quarter of my hip measurement because I folded it into two. So I will now proceed to cut out the lining and then line the whole thing separately. I'll line the back separate. I'll line the front separate. I'll also line this one separately. So this is what I mean. In order to further explain it, you see the kind of wrap I made is from this side, from my hip here to my back side. Assuming we did not remove that one inch, this wrap will now have to cross to the other side of the board, which is not very good. So with the help of this one inch we now removed, it is going to sit exactly this way after we have taken our fold for lining. You see, this is a perfect seating for it. But if you did not remove that one inch, it will encroach to the other side of the board. Okay. So here it is, well lined. I've also inserted the darts, both the front and the back, but I did not put that on the wrap piece. There is no dart on the wrap piece, but I inserted that at the front side and at the two back sides. Okay, so the next thing I should do is to join my back together. What I should just do is just to measure from my waistline 21 inches this is where my slit will fall and then as for my zip is going to fall on 8 inches i hope it's simple enough so this here is for my zip this one is for my slit so i'm going to make a stitch from this point all the way down to this place i'll stop so here is going to be my overlap slit i hope it's well understood okay i'll now go to my machine so from this point to this point insert my zip and then i will come back okay so with my zip inserted i left this side on purpose because i'll be attaching rope at this point okay with my zip inserted and my overlap properly done i will now attach the wrap piece so i will be attaching my wrap piece on the left side of my back panel of my skirt i hope it's clear on the left side on this side this is the right side this is the left side i will be leaving half an inch at this hip area all the way down to the hemline this is what i mean So this is how I will place it all the way down, making sure I left half 
an inch at the side here all the way down so i'm going to go to the machine and just stitch it together with this other back panel okay okay so having joined the wrap piece at the right side of the back panel this is what we have okay so the next thing should be to just join both the front and the back panels together using the actual body measurements so i will now proceed to join it together using my body measurement i don't think i need to show that one too. we all know how to take our body measurement and how to place it on our fabric okay so now i joined just one side this is what i mean i only joined this side i haven't joined the other side that has the wrap piece so before i join this other side with this wrap piece i have to knit in this waistline for only this one so that at the end of the day this one will be a little bit shorter than the actual skirt i hope I'm well understood first knitting this line i either fold it like this or i can decide to use a bias to fold it knitting it so that it will be a little bit lower than our actual skirt okay so now let me just do it now before i now after you do this one you now join this other side of the skirt okay so with this done now i will now join the other side of my skirt and as you can see it is now lower than our actual skirt weight so that when i'm knitting this one they will all form the same measurement all right okay so as you can see now i've joined both sides together and this is what we have you can see our wrap piece okay and you can see the differences so that by the time i fold here everything becomes equal again please let me add while i was cutting i forgot to mention the half inch or one inch you have to go down by at the abdomen area to give you this light c curve at the front side of your skirt not at the back side like i explained earlier in one of my videos for your skirts not pc skirt i mean straight cut skirts the front is always a little bit lower than the back and this is it please don't forget to always add it you either add one inch or half an inch at the abdomen area to give it that slight c curve okay now we're going to cut our rope this is for the rope that will be at the back of the skirt i'm going to be using this fabric for it you have to cut it out depending on how bold you want it to be or how slim you want it to be for my own i use hip eight and a half inches so that by the time i fold it i will have four inches or thereabout okay and also for the length of the belt mine is 29 inches you can choose any length you want at all all right so at this at this point i have to just slant it because i wouldn't want it to have a flat ending okay so with this now i'm going to sew this way i will start from here this is two i have to separate it so i'm going to start from here i will walk my way through like this and up to the end of my so here is the rope what i will now do is i'll attach one here at the wrap piece then i'll attach one at the other zip side where i left open i hope you still remember i'll be making a little crease on my rope because i don't want it to be as big as this here on the wrap piece okay so i will either go to my machine and i think that's what i'll do impute the crease first of all and then come back it on top of my wrap piece this way i'll make my stitch here turn it again make another stitch on top and that will be all if you like you forget about this top stitching you can do with only the inner stitch okay and then on the other side at the zip side i'm going to also place it so and just put my zip on top of it and complete the sewing i hope 
okay so with the ropes added now i will just knitting the waist line and that will be all okay my people this is a trendy wrap skirt you can go ahead and give you that bow tie at the back I urge you please try this at home, it's very easy to make. I'll also go ahead and give it a very long press. Thank you for watching till the end. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And if you are new to my channel, please don't leave without subscribing and also touching the notification bell. Please take very good care of yourself till we get to meet again. Bye.